Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome, bienvenidos. Today we're doing a full drugstore makeup look. Everything that I'm wearing on my face right now is from the drugstore, except for the lip color. I know, but I was wearing this look recently. I think it was on my Instagram or here on one of my videos on YouTube. And a few of you requested for me to recreate the look, so I did, but I'm using all drugstore product anyways if you guys love a good drugstore look make sure to give this video a thumbs up right now i kept back to school vibes in mind so if you love to get a little bit glam for school if you have a little bit of extra time in the morning to do your makeup then this is a perfect look it's like full coverage but it's very easy and simple to recreate plus it doesn't look like you tried too much that's kind of the theme here on my channel anyway but anyways that's all i have for you guys in this intro and let's just go ahead and get started I was looking through my makeup drawers and I thought I had a drugstore primer and I don't. I could have swore I had the NYX Angel Veil primer. So we're going to have to improvise. I'm using my Mario Badescu facial spray to prep my skin today. This isn't necessarily a primer, I don't think, but you could use it just to rejuvenate the skin and make it nice and fresh and glowy before your foundation. So we're just going to do a little bit of this. While this is kind of setting into my skin, let's do the brows. I'm using these brow products that I've never tried. They're from ColourPop. And I was really, really excited to see that they were carrying ColourPop at my local Ulta store. That was really exciting because I hate having to wait for shipping. I'm that type of person that as soon as I place my order, I'm already checking the tracking information to see if it's on its way, you know what I mean? But I got the color uh, brunette and light brown. I do like to conceal my brows before I go ahead and fill them in. So for that, I want to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I'm taking this concealer in the shade Sand. I've noticed that when I do this first, I fill in my brows a lot more naturally and they kind of give me a nice little guideline for where I should be filling in and even doing this without filling them in makes such a difference it makes your brows look a lot more polished see this one looks a little bit like crazy and this one looks a little tiny bit more polished my brows I struggle with the ends of my brows they kind of cut off but that's what the brow pencils are for so for the outside of my brow since I hardly have hair right here I am gonna use the darker shade which is uh, brunette there you go we have some nice full and feathery brows for foundation I was gonna use the new NYX can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation but I asked you all on my insta story if you wanted to see a full first impression on it or if you wanted me to feature it in this video and so far you guys are voting for me to do a solo video all about this foundation so I'm gonna save it for that I am gonna use a foundation that I've already used here on my channel, but it is drugstore. I'm actually mixing two different ones. The Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. I've been using this one like crazy, and I have it in the shade 312. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of my L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This foundation is super, super, super matte. It doesn't have a dewy finish to it whatsoever. So mixing a little bit of this gives me the perfect finish, plus this is slightly lighter and this shade is a little bit too dark for me right now. Using my ColourPop F16 to mix the two together on the back of my hand, this also kind of warms up the product, and I'm only applying the foundation wherever I have the little dark spots, and then I'll blend it outward. Let's do some concealer. I'm gonna do the same concealer, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, just in a different shade. This is in Golden. This one is a little bit, it's like my skin tone, but it comes off a little bit more orange, so I'm going to mix the sand with it as well. As you guys know, I like to let my concealer sit a little bit before I go ahead and blend it out. So while that is sitting, I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer around the perimeter of my face. And I'm using this cream foundation, but I'm using it as a bronzer, as a contour. This is the new Maybelline Super Stay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. It's a cream to matte formula, so that should be pretty good for bronzing. I have it in the color Mocha. So let's do some there. I was going to get the deepest shade, but... It's actually really deep, so I think this one's gonna work just fine. I 
I just remembered I got a new concealer that I wanted to try and I already blended my concealer but I'm gonna put a little bit on top just because why not it's the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer I've seen this everywhere I'm barely giving it a shot it's in the shade c12 I wanted to get c11 but they didn't have it in stock at my local Ulta so we're gonna give this one a try I think this is gonna be more like my skin tone yeah see it's exactly my skin tone so it's gonna apply a little bit in the inner corner to conceal a bit more This is another BH Cosmetics brush that I've really been liking. It's in the number four from the Marble Collection as well. And you can see I use it like crazy. I love using this to blend out my cream bronzers. Let's set this face. We have the model's own translucent Grand Finale Loose Powder. I'm really just packing this on. We're not gonna let this sit for a long time though. There you go, just dust off all that powder. I use my Equal Tools Full Powder Brush. And my face looks nice and matte. Full coverage, it matches the rest of my body. The lighting might be throwing it off, but it matches really, really well with the rest of my body. Let's do a little bit of highlight. I'm not gonna set my cream bronzer because I already dusted off some of the powder that was underneath my eyes, and I used that to set all of this. I don't wanna add too, too many powders because I already look pretty matte. Uh, let's move on, like I said, to highlighter. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold. They did come out with a deeper one, which is really pretty, I just don't have it. And I'm gonna use the Equal Tools Controlled Setting Brush to highlight. This is a really nice brush to really get all in this area right here. They are also selling Morphe products at Ulta now. I don't know if it's every single Ulta or select ones. I think they do have them online as well though. I've been loving this uh, blush trio. It's the Blushing Babes Pop of Poppy. And what I do is I mix risky and provocative. I just take a little bit and pop it on the apples of the cheeks. I'm taking the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. They gave me this one at a Maybelline event that I went to a while ago, and I've been wanting to use, use it ever since I got it. The colors Citrus and Main Squeeze are calling my name, the two shimmery colors. So I'm taking a little bit of a Main Squeeze, this glittery shimmery gold. It's calling my name. I wanna apply it to the inner corner of my eyes. This is just a really simple look, but very glowy spraying my face again with my mario badescu here's the completed base the foundation concealer blush highlight everything i think it looks really nice full coverage but it looks minimal and almost like a little bit effortless now for the lip color i did mention this part is not drugstore but you could find it at ulta however this is the same lip color that i was wearing in one of my recent videos i got a few requests to do a makeup look on it i think it was a video or on my insta story either way it's the lip color i was wearing in that so i'm going to show you guys which one it is we're doing mac lip liner in spice this is the perfect pinky lip color especially to wear underneath a lip color that's a little bit too light this lip color has been a go-to for me especially mixing it with this lip liner right here it's the dose of colors i love sarai collection liquid lipstick in peachy all of the liquid lipsticks are really nice but this one i've really been loving and it looks very light swatched but once you like i said mix it with a color like this it just i don't know i've been really loving it and there you have it a nice full-on drug store beat i hope you enjoyed this video i know you guys love looks like this even though they're simple i love doing makeup looks like this and i know some of you guys love these looks as well so i hope you really did enjoy this video and especially because it was all drugstore but i love you guys that's all i have for you today thank you all so much for watching again i love you guys and i will see you all in my next video